your effort and your your execution on defense is something that's always controllable. DJ Ellaby of Washington State is now second in the conference in defensive rebounding. You would not think that. A great compliment. Defeated 4-0 when they get four guys in double figures. What a move. The hedge there by Gettix pushed Ethan Thompson out. Sean or Nico Mannion starting on Ethan Thompson on the defensive assignment. And here's Nico on the run. Nice flip to Green. But then to the challenge. He put Mannion on Terrell Terry of Stanford. He's putting him on Ethan Thompson tonight. Well, look, if you're mad, proving it. And they've done it in a, in a wave. So, this game is going to be a 48-minute game. Show me something, young fella. There it is, Josh Green. Tinkle using his left. And nice thing there except finishing the shot. And look at Green fly in. Just get, and look at Green fly in. Just get Arizona. Another ball. And Najee. Look at Najee. Point shot. Good pass out. Green runs the floor. And another. His first points. <laughs> Baker and Hazard guards are in. And Coloco. Three new players. Just really there to protect the middle. So we'll see how they play, but you also understand you got a little sub in there. There you go. In the post, you still want to drive, you still want to hit the gaps, but it has to be done more through passing. <laughs> how about Tickle? No. The shooters don't know any different. Yeah. Oh, green rattles. An area of your game you always want to work on. Great pump fake, taking what the defense gives you. And Tickle. You got to get the big man either up and go around them, or you got to be able to get him in foul Ooh. trouble. And this year, it's going to be one of the higher numbers. Yeah. Hard because I believe it won't be at least five. Somebody could run it. Green now with 11. First man to double figures. Guard the regular season championship is the ultimate goal when you were playing here, Richard? Yes, yeah, because, you know, ultimately it's an indicator of your performance will site. Yes. So many schools have so many players uh, and fans show up. Luke. Ooh. I think Mandy, Arizona campus under the leadership of Dr. Bobby Robbins. Great efforts. Wow. So, you know, that's tough. Sometimes you got to take away three or four options. Ooh, Tinkle inside. Refreshment on the floor for Arizona. Along with Hazard, actually, four freshmen. If you think about this, I talked to Sean Miller about this last Saturday, about, about the gettings. And Sean said that's definitely going to be a part of his going forward. But you're still going to be lacking in chemistry because they yeah. only have had one year or, you know, a couple, you know, Stone is still trying to get acclimated as much as the rest of the folk for Oregon. How important those guys are going to be to those teams in March. Wow. What? Bo Green. Oh, the back cut by Mannion. Put nine out there trying to move his feet. And look at Mannion, wh how quick he is. Now, an opportunity in the first half, in my opinion. And whoever, play, whoever plays the best, you get a second chance. Anticipating your drive, shoot the ball. Look at the turnover margin, 14 to 5. Oh, and Dylan Smith. Keep giving them more possessions, they will make you pay. And Ethan Thompson, a little dribbling. And again, lose to, you know, UCLA. And Arizona lost to UCLA, so. Fourth block by Kyler Kelly. And Hazard. And it only takes a little bit to give yourself some confidence. There we go. There we, I don't mind the heat check. You've made four in a row. You heat check yourself all you want. And they're definitely going to need it now with being more aggressive, maybe even outside of their normal comfort zone. Well, here we go. And so many times that's the that's because if you beat all the teams you're supposed to and lose to the teams like the quad four teams, you're probably here Saturday for a game. It won't decide things, but it could go or at least have a real significant ingredient schedule, you know, that was going to be very, very trying. But you put together that schedule early so that you a massive part of tonight's game as well. If you've just joined us, Trace Tinkle is out of the game. Two technical fouls.
Both did all of you feel that one? Oh, we are all indebted. And, you know, one of the things that we love to do is tell stories to the young guys about how much Julie Braze, who was uh, uh, a great basketball player here at Arizona. And so, you know, really just a fam family atmosphere that he cultivated. Front end missed by. Yeah, and that's what, and, and he was, a you know, Coach Olsen was a wooden disciple. Right? He was there, you know, he used to go and watch Coach Wooden practice. He was trying to accomplish, and again, Arizona is just an extension of that great UCLA John Wooden mindset. Watching them play tournament games here, and you were just like, wow, they get to play in Tucson. <laughs> right? And it was, you know, that just to me is something. And, well, Jay Wynn. <laughs> what I trouble with was in December when the guys played seven games, they tell me it's his career high. <laughs> 